Hey guys, it's Void, and I know what everybody's been wondering lately, you know, the new thing on the block, my hair! <laughs> and I'll have you guys know, my hair will be coming with the next installment of Smash, Smash for Switch, or 5 Mash, or 5 Ma 5, 5, or whatever you want to call it. Now, there's a lot about the little that's been revealed about this game that's really interesting. Now one, there's the Inklings. Two, there's Breath of the Wild Link. And three, it's a new game. We're getting, oh, okay, maybe it's not a new game. It's either a new game or a new port, which is very exciting to me because we've been on this patch for about two years. And even if it's just a port, like there's probably gonna be a lot of buffs and nerfs or new stages or new DLC that I just can't wait to play. I'm really happy with the game the way it is, but of course there are some things that I would like to be changed. One would be the way Rage works. I think the fact that Rage affects both base knockback and knockback growth is a little too strong. So if a move that's a kill move kills me earlier, I'm okay with that. If a move that does 1% to me somehow sends me flying to the blast zone, I don't think that's okay. So hopefully, they changed the formula of Rage. If they removed it, I'd be at least a little sad, even though my character doesn't really abuse Rage. There are still cool situations where it's like, wow, you know, that wouldn't be possible without Rage. And there's also a lot of uncool situations where, yeah. Outside of Rage, I hope that the ledge mechanics stay the same. I feel like the ledge overall is a really nice touch to this game. You don't really die for just getting hit off stage. Like, a lot of characters with really terrible recoveries actually have a chance in this game, and I think that's really cool. You don't see, like, a Little Mac get hit off stage and then literally die to somebody grabbing the ledge and just rolling on stage. Like, what? Outside of that, I think the overall mechanics of this game are pretty good. Oh, one more thing. I wish they buff SDI. You shouldn't have to become very, very good to SDI. Like, you shouldn't have to grab your controller and... Argh! Like, you shouldn't do that to SDI. Like, it hurts. It hurts my hands. It hurts my controller. It hurts my character in the game. Like, having to see me do this. So, please, Nintendo, just buff SDI. Don't make it ridiculous. Just make it doable without destroying your controllers in terms of characters i don't play too many nintendo games like if i do the characters already in smash because it's like a main franchise game and one of my favorite nintendo franchises is the metroid series so i would like to see a really good samus in this game a really good zelda or link because i also really like legend of zelda and in terms of new characters, I don't think I'm really looking forward to new characters. Maybe the old returning vets in like Wolf, Pichu, Ices, Brawlmarth. I would really like Brawlmarth to come back. Brawl Falco was pretty cool. Like, you know, those, those characters that kind of got left behind. I would like it if those guys came back. Not necessarily newer characters, but course new characters the avenue has been completely open with this game because we've had cloud we had ryu we kept sonic like there's so much potential for characters in this new game or port that i really just want the game to come out already lastly would i be sticking with my characters in the new game i played sheik and brawl she sucked so i didn't really play her that much Sheik in this game is pretty, really, pretty, pretty good. So I'd like to keep that play style in a character where it's just like you have the potential to be very combo based, but of course you have enough tools to be a good character. If Sheik just gets completely gutted, I'm sure I wouldn't play her like a lot. There's only so far you can take a character. But I would enjoy if I could keep playing Sheik as I feel like she, she's a character that fits very well with the playstyle that I want. And if not Sheik, I hope that another character can fit those shoes in the new game, whether it be a port 
or a new game. If it's a port, I'm really hoping for at least a refreshing patch. If it buffs a lot of characters and nerfs a lot of characters, I'm okay with that. If it's just a new game with new mechanics, I'd be okay with that too because at the end of the day, I really love playing Smash and I'd like to continue enjoying playing Smash. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions for me or anything you'd like me to do a video on, just make sure to leave it in the comments. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.